Hello friends, Namaskar. Whenever income tax authorities, particularly speaking, the assessing officer passes an order against an assessee, maybe it is an assessment order, maybe it is a rectification order or a penalty order against the assessee. An assessee feels aggrieved against such an order and he or she or it wishes to go into appeal. Then the question of knowing the hierarchy of the income tax appeal comes into picture. So through this video today, I am trying to put up before you that okay, you being a layman should be able to understand that okay Mr. Bhatia, what is the hierarchy of income tax appeals that okay, where I can file my first appeal, then second appeal, third appeal, fourth appeal, etc. So if that is in your knowledge domain, you may be better able to prepare yourself that okay, I may take my case to the following levels for seeking justice against an order passed against me in reference to the income tax related proceeding. So today through this video, I am trying to give you a brief idea of such appellate procedure and hierarchy for the benefit of public at large. So I would like to begin with this hierarchy in the following levels that okay, the first appeal which may be filed by an assessee against an order of the assessing officer, wherever such order relates to an assessment order or it is a penalty order or it is a rectification order, then the appeal can be filed directly before CIT appeals. Now what is the procedure that I will discuss in brief in the coming discussion, but you should know that okay, the first authority before whom an appeal can be filed would be CIT appeal. Suppose CIT appeal has not given you the favor, then you can file an appeal before income tax appellate tribunal, which is an independent forum. Here I would like to say that CIT appeal is an income tax authority. So their upbringing have happened to be within the income tax department, but they are quasi judicial authorities. But income tax appellate tribunal is independent of the income tax department and this forum is very important, particularly in terms of a question of fact, because whatever ITAT decides on a question of fact is a final answer, is a final decision. However, if suppose assessee has won before CIT appeal but could not win before ITAT or has lost at both the stages, then in that case a further appeal may be filed before Honorable Jurisdiction High Court. But this High Court related thing, I would like to tell you two things. That whenever there is a question on which an appeal is there, that question would be or could be with reference to a question of fact or could be with reference to a question of law. Now what is a question of fact? If I exemplify you, say for an example an asset is purchased on a particular date. So whether the date is correct or not, this is a question of fact. But when the question comes that okay, whether a particular asset falls into building or it falls into plant and machinery or it falls into computer, that determination may take question of law. So this is a question of fact or question of law related distinguishment, which is important certainly before High Court because High Court does not accept question of fact related appeal. They accept only question of law related and that too should be a question which is a substantial question of law, not only a question of law, but should be a substantial question of law. Your consultant would be better able to help you understand here that okay, how to determine what is a substantial question of law. But I would like to summarize it again that before CIT appeal and ITAT, it could be a question of law or question of fact both. But before High Court, it should be not only a question of law, it should be a substantial question of law. And suppose if you don't get a favor before High Court, then you can go up to Supreme Court also. However, except CIT appeal, which is the first appeal at a stage and which can be knocked only by the assessee in all other cases, the department can also go into appeal against an order of the appellate authority. Say for example, you want in CIT appeal, department may go into ITAT. You want into ITAT, department go into High Court. You want into High Court, department can go into Supreme Court. But Supreme Court is the apex court of India. So whatever Supreme Court decides would be the fine. So I hope this understanding will be helpful to you to understand that okay, this is the appellate hierarchy under the Income Tax Act 1961. Now let me give you a brief idea of appeal before CIT appeals that appeal before CIT appeal is filed under section 246A read with section 249 and 250 of income tax act 1961. Such an appeal should be filed online only my dear friends on your income tax portal a form 35 needed to be filed in this regard. The prescribed appellate fees which is to be paid in this regard 
is also mentioned in the law so that fees should be paid upfront yes this fees is not very high uh, this is minimum fees i can say or minimal fees so you can refer to the law for the applicable fees applicable or you can avail the help of your consultant also and a very important point to be noted here is that the time limit of filing appeal before cit appeals is 30 days from the date of receipt of relevant demand notice or the other order as the case may be within this 30 days from the date of relevant demand notice what is a demand notice where department demands in consequence of an assessment or penalty or rectification order under section 156 a demand notice is issued so within 30 days from the date of receipt of demand notice appeal should be prepared a question may come that okay mr bharti can there be condonation for genuine reason yes sir there can be condonation request which may be filed by the assessee for genuine reasons if there is a delay after cit appeal the second income tax appellate authority who can or the second authority who can entertain an appeal would be itat and i would again repeat that if cit appeal does not give you a favor that is does not decide in your favor the case then you can file an appeal before itat or cit appeal has given you a favor but the department is not satisfied with the order of cit appeal department can also file an appeal before itat the appellate procedure of itat is primarily mentioned under section 253 of income tax act 1961 read with section 254 such an appeal should be filed in form 36 the prescribed appellate fees is also required to be paid here and the time limit of filing appeal before itat is 60 days from the date of receipt of relevant order of the cit or cit appeal now when i said cit i would like to say that when the cit levies a penalty against the assessee cit passes a revision order in all such cases also the assessee can file an appeal before itat so maybe you are not satisfied with the order of cit or not satisfied with the order of cit appeal you can file an appeal before itat as per section 253 of income tax act 1960 after cit appeal and itat the third appellate authority in the income tax procedures is appeal before high court so if there is a question of law and not only that it should be a substantial question of law then an appeal under section 260a of income tax act 1961 can be filed as i have already quoted it should be a substantial question of law and the time limit of filing such appeal before high court is 120 days again may it be cit appeal or itat or high court if there is genuine reason related delay then the delay condonation related powers are given to the appellate authority however high court decide its procedure of conducting the appeal as per code of civil procedure 1908 finally my dear friends if you also could not get a relief from honorable high court that is a jurisdiction high court wherein you have filed an appeal then you can file an appeal before the supreme court against such an order of the high court and the appeal before the supreme court is filed in a section 262 of the income tax act 1961 supreme court also decides the case as per the code of civil procedure 1908 so whatever supreme court decide is the apex court judgment and that is a final judgment in the case no other authority can listen to that particular case once the supreme court has decided it so there are four appellate states cit appeal itat high court and supreme court which i wanted to update you through this video at the end my dear friends i would like to mention a very important point that wherever you are not satisfied with the order of the ao may it be levying the assessment order against you or a penalty order or rectification order or a revision order of cit then you have the ample scope under the income tax provision to file the appeal and one point which should you should take care about that wherever a demand is generated and you have filed an appeal the department will continue to treat you as a in default that is for which they will may be levy the interest on you in the future suppose if the final appeal is decided against you so a very important point which an appealant should take care about that yet you are filing an appeal but the demand is continuing to be outstanding against you so if the demand ultimately stands against you or sustains against you then you can be required to pay the necessary interest to the income tax authority so in this regard proper understanding should be developed by the assessee with the help of their consultants or advocates as the case may be so this was also one of the reason why i created this video thank you very much for being with me wishing you all the best